Hello everyone, today I'll be moving my carpenter ants into this dirt box. And you may be wondering why I'm moving ants that live in wood into the dirt, but actually Caponata species live tend to live in both wood and or like like trees and the dirt. It just varies between species. So first I'm gonna clean out some gunk because like after I made this like some random debris got in and that's it's a little gross. Yes. Okay, there you go. Yeah, that should be fine. All right, now I'm gonna pour some dirt in. Like, uh, do I want to pour this? If I do it like this, I'll do it like this. Alright, now I put my dirt in as you can see. I'm now going to water it. I am a little low on dirt, but it should be enough dirt. Alright, as you can see, I just put the water in. And it's slowly draining down. And after the water drains, I will put on a barrier so they can't climb out. Because if I don't put a barrier, I don't have a lid for this. So it'll just be a very uh, big pain. But yeah, all right, I'll be back in a little bit. All right, it's basically finished soaking. And now I'll be applying a slip barrier so the ants can't get out. Uh, whenever I do this, for some reason, it like never tends to work. So that's why I'm gonna be very extremely careful. And I'm only gonna be using a Q-tip. All right, I finished applying the barrier, and now I will be waiting for it to finish soaking down. It's basically almost done, but needs a little more time, and then I'll be back. All right, it's all drained and stuff, and now I will dump my carpenter ant colony in there. This is a Campanatus maritimus colony, and basically, they're like your normal carpenter ant, except they're very uh, frantic, and they go nuts, as you can see. Let's uh, open the tube and I am dumping them but they should be fine honestly like let's, let's dig and then they'll be like happy again as you can see there is all the workers are gone oh, but there are a few eggs that I had to get out but after they dug some tunnels I will show you the uh, tunnels they made so it's been a few days, and as you can see, the ants are now gone. There's an uneaten termite down there, and I applied another layer of barrier right along the top, which previously did not have one. For Fluon, which is the barrier I use, you don't want to apply one barrier over the other because it will basically allow the ants to have a better chance of getting up. I don't really remember why, but just don't. As you can see, there is a lot of dirt that they dug up. So yes, these this species does live in the dirt. There is a hole right there that I made, which they used for like a second and then abandoned. So we'll just go through the sides real quick and I'll show you what's there. So first we have this side. It's basically all untaken. I'll show you the main nest chamber in a second. Another unused side, but here is that little hole. It really isn't much, but it's like probably like a few millimeters. Another empty side. And this. Basically, what they've dug so far. Or actually, I found out that this species is a really slow digger. Like, this is all that they have dug out so far. And the only reason I know they're still in here is because of that fresh, like, pile of rock that was dug out. 
and basically they've dug one big chamber that leads to a couple of smaller chambers that I cannot find where it goes because I let them have a very wide amount of dirt to dig in and usually for dirt boxes you want the colony to have a smaller uh, width so that you can see the ants but I wanted to see more of the natural dig digging habits which I can't really see but you get the point. Now I will show the nest. They basically have the entrance right here and it leads to a smaller chamber right here which then heads off somewhere which I can't see and they are also starting another tunnel right here that goes about to right here and they're still digging it but I basically see a worker once in a while and I also see the workers sometimes go up to like the like the lid and then they'll just crawl out and I'm like oh my bear right here said nothing but it's okay because I found that after putting them in this dirt box they're actually quite docile they basically never come out I never see them but in as a pro I get to see this the cool one tunnel or one chamber and yeah I find that pretty interesting yeah I just wanted to mention that if you ever plan to make or use a dirt box, which I highly do, it's very fun and interesting, that you get a more interesting species such as harvester ants or honeypot ants, both work really well in this. And just also as a plus, harvester ants can't climb against the walls, so you wouldn't need a barrier. You wouldn't really have to worry about them climbing out, but they could build like a, a mountain of dirt to get out, but you can easily like push it off. But you also could do carpenter ants if you want, but just keep in mind they might disappear into the nest forever but there are also more active harvester ant no, not a harvester ant carpenter ant species that would work well on this as well which i'll probably do in the future thank you for watching